Now, welcome back to the third video. Now, once you go past your initial credit, you're going to be given a credit. Uh, you do have to pay. But as you can see, you can try this out for free. Um, create, says create a free account. Just go to this website and go and try it out for free. Okay. Now, once you're sent your login, um, you just go into your line by uh, go into your AMP Live login page. Uh, it should look something like this. Just enter in your email and password and click on the submit button. So once you're in, uh, first thing you need to do is create an event. Okay. Um, you can see that the white plus symbol. Just click on that. Okay, and this will take you to the page you're seeing right now. Um, so what we need to do is um, enter in a date and time for the um, day you're going live. Okay, this is where we enter the date and time um, you're going live. Okay, this is also the time AMP Live will drive real uh, streaming traffic. For example, if you're on Facebook, to your Facebook Live video. If it's on a blog, it does it to a blog, wherever you are. OK, uh, real people will click on your live video on this date and time. So it's key that we enter in the correct one here. Right. So if you're like a month away or two months away or two weeks away, this is what you enter here. OK, Ampli does need to know the start date, the time and end time so that it knows um, when to provide your traffic and when to stop providing you the traffic. So once you're done, just create, just click on the create event um, button. OK, so you must set up at least one boost as well for your live uh, stream traffic for this to work. This is where we tell Amp Live how much traffic we want. OK, so if you want 50, you know, 5000 views, you can get 5000 views. If you want 10,000, if you want 50,000, you can set it up here. You can if you want 70,000, you can set it up here. These are real people, by the way, not bots. OK, because even Facebook doesn't allow bots. OK, so. Um, always make sure this is set up 24 hours before you go live. It's very easy to set up. As you can see, uh, there's not much you, know, you have to do. Um, the technology takes care of itself, right? So once you've done that, click on the Create Boost button. Okay. So you're presented uh, with the Create New Boost window. As you can see, you know, it gives you this slide in rule thing. It says 5,000. You can go higher as much as you want and give it a name. Okay. Scroll down and you're going to see even more information. Right. Uh, you have the video player drop down menu with more options. Okay. Um, you have a choice of so many video players. In our case, we, we choose Stream Live. When I went live on Facebook, I chose Stream Live. Right. Uh, you also have an option of uploading a video if you wish. If you want to upload a video, you can do that as well, right? Uh, when you choose Stream Live, the software will prompt you to enter in your embed URL, okay? So in the embed URL field, you must enter the Facebook embed code, uh, which you must get from Facebook. So how do you how do you do that? Well, we've got these instructions here for you. So basically how to schedule an event and pull an embed code from Facebook. So what you could do is go into Facebook, your fan page. You must have a fan page. You have to create one. It doesn't take more than two minutes to create a fan page, by the way. Uh, so when you go to your fan page, go to publishing tools, click on the create. Click on the create button. And once you've done that, OK, then select the live video, right? Once you've selected a live video, uh, then navigate to connect, right? So enter in your event information um, and hit schedule. The details you enter here is the start date and the time of your live streaming event as well. So same as your AMP Live, right? So once you've done that, you click on the embed. Um, as you can see, my arrow is pointing at that. Once you've filled in all that, you then click on that button at the bottom of the screen and you select the copy copy the, the clipboard all right so once you schedule it this is what it obviously looks like in real time it tells you exactly when you're going live this is something we've done for our for our client okay this is something we've done for our clients on facebook 
And this is what the code looks like when you get it from Facebook. This is what it looks like so that you don't, you know. So what we do is we copy. Obviously, yours is going to be different from mine, guys. You know, every code is different. This is just an example. So what you do is copy this, copy this code and paste it in the embed URL code on Amp Live. So we come back to Amp Live, okay, um, where it says embed URL, you place that code in there. And, you know, you can also preview your video once you're there as well. So once you're done, you scroll down. So now we can fill in the fields for the geography limitation. Okay, this is how we get really targeted. Right. So now select the country you want your views to come from. Is it from the United States um, or is it from the United Kingdom? You've got a, you know, you've got the choice. Amplive gives you the choice. Um, in this, in our case, there we've got obviously United States, and we chose other countries as well. Um, okay, you can even go into territories within uh, different countries. Right. So once you've done that. Click on the save and continue button, right? And then that will take us now to the audience targeting, okay? So this is where things get really exciting um, because now we can get really targeted. So let me remind you what we're trying to do here. We're going to take your embed code from Facebook and we're going to put it in targeted websites, okay? High traffic websites. Sites get in 10,000 visitors daily, 20,000 visitors daily, 40,000 visitors daily. I hope you see how this works. So these are real people clicking on your sites. Okay. So we're in the audience targeting now. Okay. So in the first tab, you can select by interests. Right. So you can select by your interests. That's the great thing about it, guys. You can select by your own interests. Right. So you may also, you have many choices to choose from. Okay, choose a niche and your market, right? So this is the area, the target is where we start to get really niche and, you know, you, you have to select your market. Okay, as you can see there. You can select by companies, you can select companies as well, choice of companies, um, by industry as well, by industry. And by job title, you can even go by job title. That's how targeted it is. It You can go by job title. Once you finish the intro type, um, all that, just click on the save and continue button. And then now we're in the creatives. Okay. Now we're in this creative section. And the creatives are simply banners or images that you have to create. The creatives is the first thing people see when they visit these high traffic sites. Okay. So it's important that you create an eye catching banners and headlines. So I'm going to show you a few examples that we created for one of our clients um, that got the attention of our targeted market. Okay, uh, but the important thing here is the size of the of the banners. Very important. All right. So here's an example of a creative or banners or images that we created for one of our clients. As you can see, bold headlines, colorful, full graphics. When someone sees this image on a high tra traffic website and the site is targeted, they're more likely to click on it, right? So, you you know, make sure that your designs are kind of eye-catching like that, okay? So another variation on the image. This one has a picture of a dog since this is a pet business that we are trying to, um, you know, to, to help drive traffic to. This is a pet business. So we included the play button image to make it clear to anyone seeing this image that they can click the image immediately. All right, so press play now. All right, this image will be placed on one of the many high traffic websites and users will immediately click and then end up watching a live video about the pet business. Okay, so another variation of the creative. Uh, uh, Live now on Facebook. Okay, you want to, you know, you want to, you can use some of these words as well. You have the press play now live call to action button, right? As you can see, eye catching headlines and images, right? So let's talk about the banner sizes, right? Uh, you need for your images and your banners, because you know if you create the wrong size, um, you're not, be, you're not, you won't be able to upload it on Amp Live. So this is why I want you to pay attention to these. So 
you need three types of sizes, okay? So these are the sizes you need, 300 by 60, 300 by 410, 578 by 250, right? So these are the required in them. So this is what it looks like. As you can see here, the top part is the video and the bottom part is the graphics. Again, for this one, 300 by 410, the top part is the video, the top, uh, the, the bottom part is the, the graphics, okay? And again, the third one um, is 578 by 250. So where can you go and create these banners and sizes so to, to make your life much easier? Okay, well, I go to Fiverr. I'd go to Fiverr if I were you. And when you get to Fiverr, over at Fiverr, you would do a search on graphic designers. Always check the ones that have completed a job in the last week before hiring them, all right? Um, because that means they're, you know, people trust them and they can do a job for you. The ones that I've highlighted show they've worked recently, right? You can see these stars, they've worked recently. So you can contact one of them, give them the headlines and the other images and, and the, the right sizes that we've just talked about. Just give them those sizes and they will make sure they create your banners to the right size, right? So once, once you get your banners back, you know, log back into AMP Live, um, you're now going to upload those banners in AMP Live. So um, that's what you're doing. So we log back in here. As you can see, we're in the creative section now. Um, enter in a Facebook URL in the landing, uh, landing field and do that for each time you upload a banner. So this is where you upload the 300 by 40. This is but the 300 by uh, 60, right? And uh, this is the 300 by 410. And then, then the last one. So once you've done all that, say, you know, click on the save and continue. You can also preview that as well. All right. And this was the final look. When you preview it, it looks like, like this. This, you know, this is what it may look like. You know, you got the banners, you got the images on the right, and then the real video on the left hand side. Okay, so, so during your live stream, you can view this page for all the results. Okay, Amplive allows you to view the top locations where your traffic came from, your top interests, the titles, companies. You know, this is great information, guys. You can use that type of information later on to boost your post. Okay, so while driving traffic, you can make adjustments on Amplive to pace the viewership as well. So this is more, um, you know, experiment we did in-house, total views, unique visitors, that's really key, and the engagement level, all right? <clears throat> Again, this is the overall result after you've, after you've got live. As you can see, 4,800 4, views over 4,270 unique views, which is pretty good. Okay, this picture is telling where most of the traffic is coming from, from this niche, uh, which means if I was creating a, an ad on Facebook, I know where my traffic and my traffic is coming from California. You know, I'm going to target the regions of California to get even more traffic, even more targeted traffic. You can use Amp Live to discover the best place to find the best traffic. This is what I love about it. Let's check out the top boost sources over here. You can see... Um, exactly where most of the traffic, traffic came from as well, from the actual websites. So as you can see, everything's quite transparent with this um, platform. Knowing that most of your traffic is coming from a specific website, uh, the best thing you can do is to test some ads on Facebook. It would take maybe 30 to $40 and target those locations, target those websites, especially if they're coming in, especially if they are, um, you know, converting. So these are the best practice according to Amp Live, okay, in terms of the creatives. Simple, clear design, you know, brand name. I've shown you a couple, couple examples of that. Calls out the main event. I've shown you a couple of examples of the call to action. Uh, register now, watch me, press now, and that sort of stuff, okay? So basically taking your live video to another level. Amp Live allows you to take your live stream to another level. Now, once you've gone past your free credit and you're serious about attracting the right audience for your live video, then you want to turn it up a level, okay? Um, when I say turn it up a level, I mean you want to go from 
5,000 views to 20,000 to 70,000 to 100 views. You can do that if you want to take your live stream to a different level. But obviously, the previous modules, we talk about preparation. We talk about being ready. So even before you drive traffic, you want to know your audience. You want to know where your audience are even before you start using Amp Live. So what can views like that do for your business? Okay, how many people can you convert into paying customers with that number of views? Okay, that's the question you need to be asking yourself right now. And that's where the preparation really comes in. You know, um, this is what live streaming can do for your business. Um, um, you know, to do that, you do have to pay some money for those if you want to take it seriously. You know, with Amp Live software, you can remove certain sites from your distribution list. For example, the ones that are not working. If they're proving to consistently underperform in terms of engagement, you can remove them and only have the ones that are performing. At this point, you'll need you know, you'll need really need to be working with a distribution tool and a team. And Amp Live, I'm telling you right now, is the uh, company for that. If you're if you're interested in removing um, um, underperforming publishers or sites, you know the Amp Live operations team can help you with all that type of customization, as I've helped me and my clients. Okay, on the Amplify platform, you would download. You can also download the top boost sources. All right, so you can use those later. Um, you can send an email to your account manager in Amplive, and they will help you out. Very powerful stuff, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you take action. I'll see you soon.